Hi church, my name is Kristen. I'm excited to give you guys your great verse for today. So we will be reading from Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. It says this, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. So Malachi here, he's a prophet sent from God, and he's speaking to the people of Israel. And if you read the chapters before this, and even up to this verse, we see that Israel has screwed up big time. Their offerings and sacrifices to God are blemished, and their covenant with God is broken. And then we see that in regards to tithing, that they're withholding it, they're keeping it close, they're not giving to God. And God calls them out right before this verse. He's essentially saying, you're robbing me. And there's such an importance of tithing to God and being able to give to God. He says, you know what? Test me in this. <laughs> He's like, give your whole tithe to me, your whole self. Tithing in regards to, yes, money, but their resources and their time, their giftings that God has given them. They are not their own things. It's actually God giving to them. He's like, give it back in return. Because it's so easy for us to hoard and to hold on to these things. And he says, give it to me. Give this tithe to me. And you'll see that the floodgates of heavens would be opened. And these blessings would be poured onto you. Guys, what's amazing about God and how he views us, his creation, is that he cares so much about our hearts. So uh, I just want to encourage you guys, church, today that we would be able to see where are we giving from? Where is that place rooted in? Where is our hearts? If you look in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, it says, Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. When I give from even a place of like, God, this is not a lot. <sighs> so I'm going to give it to you. I have faith that you're going to do what you need to do with it. The joy that I experience, that freedom that I have of just giving from that place, guys, it is absolutely beautiful. And I know a lot of us have stories to back that up where we have tangibly seen what we have given back to God and seen it multiply and move forward. And how amazing is it that there is an eternal impact when we give to God, whatever that looks like. So be encouraged, church, and just ponder that question. You know, where is where is that place you're giving from? You know, is it from your own self giving to get? Or is it to give freely so you can experience the joy that God can give you? God bless you guys and take care.